Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Akila Adeomola. I'm here this afternoon to present the role of Lagos State Education Resource Center in content digitalization for teachers and school administrators. The Lagos State Education Resource Center is being established by the National Policy on Education that mandated all states in Nigeria and the Federal Capital Territory to establish and fund the education resource centers in the state and learning resource centers at local government education areas to provide support services to secondary and primary schools you know, respectively. And you see that Lagos State Government has done that, established the Lagos State Education Resource Center, and it has been funded to, to carry out its mandate as a multidisciplinary center. Being a multidisciplinary center, it has the following functions, the curricular adaptation, capacity building, technology hub, teacher's lounge, development and testing of teaching and learning materials. When we talk about curriculum adaptation, it has to do with providing resources to be able to present the curriculum in a way that will bring about learning, you know, deep learning. That is introducing learning resources, either digital learning resources or locally printed learning resources, or every kind of learning resource, edu education broadcast, talking about radio and television programs, talking about the different kinds of uh, methodologies of presenting content, which is adapting them to the environment where we are. That's one of the function, major functions of the uh, Education Resource Center. It also builds the capacity of teachers to do uh, all the, the, the various, I mean, to improve their capacity. And one of the ways we are planning of improving our capacity is content creation and digitalizing our, our learning or our teaching materials. Developing content through the OES, that is one of the ways. And also we are looking at you know, capacity building of teachers, building the capacity of our teachers to be able to do more in this modern age, looking at what the, uh, the trend is at this particular time. Technology Hub, the Lagos State Education Resource Center, like I told you, is a multidisciplinary center where we have lots and lots of technology, the AI, introducing the AI, that is artificial intelligence in, in form of um, the different kinds of uh, materials, devices, will be found at the Education Resource Center where you can do your content creation, where you can study hard, where the students can also come for excursion and do a lot of things that will enhance teaching and learning. And we also have the development of the teacher's lounge. When you talk about the teacher's lounge, it's a room specialized for teachers where you can create your content, where you can do a lot of uh, discussions, where you can do in-service in, in service training, where you can do seminars, where you can do experience sharing, sharing the experiences you know, in your classroom, what are the difficulties you have in your subjects, what are the things you want to do. All these things can be done at the teacher's lounge. The teacher's lounge will be equipped with a lot of uh, devices, like we're going to have a, a, a video camera there, you're going to have so many devices, computer system where you can, that you can use to develop your content. And development and testing of teaching and learning materials. We're looking at a place where you can come develop your learning materials, instructional materials, in whatever form you want to have it. Do you want to have it as a hard, hardware? What, what, what I mean by hardware is that you want to have it as a printed materials. You want to have them as a recorded voices, audio, visual. You, know, you want to have it as digital content creation. Everything, your learning, your teaching and learning materials can be created at the Education Resource Center. So you see that the Lagos State Government has actually done a good job by providing this place where you can come and do all these things. You do all these things at a very minimal price. And for, especially for those of you in the uh, private schools, those in the public schools will have the Lagos State Government subsidized for their, all their activities. So when you come as a public school teacher, you are coming there, you is home away from home. You are coming home to do your work, to. To, to improve your, your productivity in the Civil Service Commission. And so the same thing, but for private schools, just a token, just a little amount will go a long way. Like the OES, OES 
we are introducing that and we're going to be using that a lot when we talk about our content creation. We're looking at what's the components, like I've already discussed that, that Chat Lounge is the teacher's resource room. It is the meeting point for discussions, it's the meeting point for in-service training, experience sharing, seminars, development of teaching resources, content creation. It's very key for teachers to create content, content that will bring about deep learning. If your content created does not bring about deep learning, that is leading to change in, their, in, in, in the behavior of the students, then you have not done anything. So for you to create content that are actually that will cause deep learning and will cause change in behavior, you are looking at content that is created with the essential for, I mean, it's so essential for the function of the teacher. We refer to it as a lesson plan. We look at it, the key features include so many, but the major ones we are going to be looking at this afternoon are the target audience, goals and objectives to be achieved, tactics and many others to be discussed. Majorly, we're going to be looking at the goals and objectives, because that's the key. If you don't have a goal that is smart, then you are not going to achieve anything. Normally, we know that our target, target audience are our students, ranging from primary, early childhood to senior secondary school. Those are our target audience. How do you create content that leads, I mean, that speaks to those levels of learner? And so we're going to look at what are the key points, the goals. How do you create goals that will actually make, you know, your content that you have created measurable, smart uh, kind of um, goals? We're going to look at the, 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 the major parts of goals. That is, we are looking at majorly at the Bloom's taxonomy of learning. When you look at the Bloom's ta taxonomy of learning, he has, you know, put the cognitive domain in about two others. Maybe when you are teaching, there are parts of the, uh, the cognitive domain that you are speaking to with whatever you have selected as part as your objective. One, you are looking at the lower order thinking skills. And that is when you just cause remembering, they say, that is recalling you know, specific part, uh, facts. There are some action words that you use in developing your object, writing your objectives that are, will just make your students to be at the level of remembering. While others will be at the level of understanding, maybe a little bit higher, then you come a little bit higher to applying. By the time you are going to higher order thinking skills, you are talking about analysis, you are talking about evaluating, you are talking about creating. And those are the three major things that when you are creating your content, you don't just remain, put your objectives at the level of lower order thinking, you must begin to look at using verbs that will take the students to analyzing what they have learned, being able to evaluate, being able to apply it to their day-to-day -day activity, and being able to create something special. And that is where the OES also come in. The OES will help us to create content that will depict the higher order thinking skills, where our students can actually be these global citizens that we want them to be. So what are the verbs that we can use at this particular, uh, 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 this area? We are looking at the, when you were talking about the lower order, that is remembering. You are talking about define. When we say define, repeat. Or you are talking about understanding where you are saying explain, summarize. You are using all those word, verbs to depict all those uh, things. And it will only apply to, I mean, their lower order thinking. By the time you are going a bit better, you are looking at implement. You are looking at solve the following problem. You are looking at looking at giving them a scenario, a, a life scenario, and making them to apply it to their what they have learned to their, their life, real life scenario. And then analysis, when you tell them analyze, when you tell them to research, when you are taking, telling them to convince or criticize, you are making them to evaluate, you are making them to analyze, and the peak of it is to create. When you, they are able to look at what you have given them, giving them is problem, and they're able to create or profess solutions to this problem. It is at this time that you're talking about higher order thinking. And like I told you, you're going to be creating content, you know, with us at the teacher's lounge. We are looking at you bringing up the higher order thinking, which is the one that brings about deep learning. It is when learning is deep that the students are able to you know, that it's able to cause a change in behavior in them, and it's also able to help them to create things that will make their lives better. And so, we are talking about this. 
And you see that OES is a, is a, is a good one. Let, let us say education resources have just been remodeled to accommodate all these things. We are looking at you having the, the, the teacher's resource room. You are looking at having uh, audio and vis visual, I mean, audiovisual studio where you can do your recordings, where you can do audio recording, where you can do video recordings. We are looking at a multipurpose hall that is actually, you know, amphitheater, a kind of amphitheater where you can do a lot of things. We have the CBT center there where you can do all the things that you actually need to do. So you see that looking at all these things, we are bringing together so many things that, yes, we are bringing about so many things that we also, we are looking at the virtual reality, the augmented reality, all these things will be put in, you know, our, our, our computer-based our, our computer room. We are looking at having a laboratory a kind of uh, inter, uh, digital laboratory where all the VR, that's virtual reality, the augmented reality, everything can be put there for your use. So come to ERC and you will see yourself doing better as a teacher and we're going to work together in partnership with OES to make education go AYA, to go make education go to the level we want it to go to. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening and God bless you.